What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jordan. Thank you guys for stopping by. So today I want to go ahead and talk to you about this camera right here. Now this is a Canon EOS RP. I've done plenty of videos on this before. I recently found out that there is a kind of, I don't want to say log profile for this, but it's uh, kind of like, kind of like a log. Basically, long story short, there is a profile for this camera. Uh, I believe you could probably use that same profile on maybe some of Canon's other cameras, like the Canon EOS R. Now, obviously, you wouldn't need it on like the R5 or R6 or anything, but any of their older cameras that don't come with like a Cine style profile or like a log profile, I think this might be for you. I'm going to test it out on my Canon T7. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and add this into the video as well and like a text if it does work um, I'll throw a little b-roll up there. So basically long story short uh, I found out that there is a semi log profile for the Canon EOS RP now You have to download it and then basically you put it onto the camera so you have to download the Canon EOS like web utilities and basically you hook the camera into the computer and then you upload the Cine style profile to the camera, save it, turn it off, and then it's logged on here. So basically what it does is it creates a very flat image for your camera. So if you do a lot of video and you want more like dynamic range out of your camera, I think that this is what this camera has been missing. Now, I do play around with it quite often it's pretty easy to grade. Um, so like if you use one of Canon's regular profiles, like let's say when I used to get my cameras, what I would do is I would pull all the contrast and all the saturation out to get the most dynamic range out of the camera. This Cine style profile basically lifts all of the shadows and creates, like I said, a very like log neutral profile. And so like, so everything in your like histogram is like in the center type of thing. It's pretty interesting because comparing the Cine style profile to Canon's like in color in camera profiles, even with their most neutral with the saturation and the contrast pulled out that still can't compete with the Cine style. It's pretty insane. So if you do a lot of video work and you have a Canon mirrorless or maybe even a Canon DSLR, just adding the Cine style profile to your camera, I think is going to give you more flexibility in post. Um, I think overall in general, I think it's just better in my opinion, honestly, like if, if you plan on using this camera to do like, like a lot of your video shoots, I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So hopefully if you haven't heard about this, I know I'm a little bit late to the game now, but I recently just learned about this and I had absolutely no idea. Once I put it on my camera, I was absolutely blown away. Now, obviously, if you've heard about this, then you already know what it's all about. But if you're new and you still haven't heard about the Canon Cine style profile, so it's from a website and I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. But basically it's free. You don't really have to do anything. All you just do is you download it onto your computer, hook up your camera to your computer, and then you basically upload that file to the camera. The camera saves it as a new profile, and then you can just go to town. Um, I will say one thing though, you don't want to use that for pictures. So like whenever I do video, I switch it to the Cine style profile. And then when I take photos, I switch it back to just like a regular profile because it really doesn't work for photos that well. I don't know. It does something with the white balance that just kind of makes it weird. So just like that, just take that into consideration. Anyways, the Cine style profile, I think for anybody that has a Canon EOS R system, like an EOS R or an RP, or like I said, I think it should possibly also work on maybe like even like the 5Ds. Um, maybe like a 90D or an 80D, maybe a T7. I have one T7 in the back there on that shelf. You see that back there? So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll try to put that onto the T7 and see if that works too. If it does, like I said, I'll throw a little text box up here. Hopefully this is in focus, but uh, so I was doing a video about Cinestyle. <clears throat> this is on my Canon Rebel T7. So if you hear this, 
and the audio sucks, it's because the T7 doesn't have an input jack for a microphone. So yeah, that's it. Uh, you can put CineStyle on pretty much any camera. This is a Canon Rebel T7. I got it in 2019. So just goes to show you if, you, if you're more adamant about video, you can put it on pretty much any camera. And if that did work, then you'll know because the text box will say yes or no. So that's it. Um, if you're looking to get more flexibility and more range, like dynamic range out of your camera with the, a, a log profile, because like I've even said, I really wish that camera Canon would offer you a service where you could send in the camera. They would put like C log onto it and then send it back to you for a price. I would even pay for that myself just because when I do video, I want to have flexibility and the baked in color profiles on this camera just sometimes don't do it for me. So yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, also give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I'm Jordan. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.